Welcome to the third lecture. I am Abhijit Gurav. Now in this lecture, we are going to learn boiler troubles, scales, sludge, preming, foaming and caustic embrittlement. So first we will know what is boiler troubles. Actually boiler is used in generating the power into the industries. So during generation of power, if water used in the boiler for steam generation, then that water is called as boiler feed water. So such water should be free from turbidity, oil, dissolved gases, alkali and harness causing substances. Okay, so this boiler troubles that may be caused due to the such type of hardness causing substances. That's why the boiler feed water should be free from such type of impurities. If such water is used to run boilers, it causes serious problems like faulty readings in temperature and pressure gauze and also it is responsible for corrosion. If hard water obtained from natural resources is fed directly into boilers, then boiler troubles may arise. So such type of water, if we use to run the boilers, then there are different types of troubles or that are very serious troubles that may causes into the boilers and that troubles are like scale and sludge formation priming and foaming and the last one important that is caustic embrittlement. So we will see this one by one in details. So what is scale? As you see the picture, it is a hard substance having impurities which is actually precipitated into the boilers or inner side of the boilers. Okay, so whatever the inner wall of the boiler is there, that wall get precipitated or that get accommodated with the hard material that is called as a scale. So if the heat is transferred by the suspended matters in water settling down and that may causes the hardness or that may causes the hard material or that is responsible for generation of hard material in a boiler. So scales are very hard like rocks which cannot be removed or which cannot be broken even by hammering. So as you see the picture, in this picture this is a hard material that is actually nothing but the scale. Okay? So this is 1 to 2 centimeter thickness of the scale. So the scales are formed by substances like calcium hydroxide or calcium bicarbonates are also responsible for that. Now we will see sludge. Sludge is a, if you see the picture, in this uh, picture uh, you see the powder like compound. Okay, It is very slimy or uh, silky material or loosely or soft bounded precipitate which is formed in the inner side of the boiler. As we consider the scale and sludge, the sludge is formed at the upper parts of the boiler. Okay, so that upper part is a cooler part of the boiler or cooler portion of the boiler where that sludge is formed. Okay. Then this uh, sludge can be removed by brushing or by acid wash. If, but uh, if you consider the scale, that scale cannot be removed by brush or by acid wash or even by hammering we cannot able to remove that scale. But here if you see the sludge, this can be removed by acid wash or by using brush. So this sludge is a soft loosely 
precipitate formed in the boiler. So this is the simple picture. Here you see this is the slimy loosely precipitate which is formed inside the or inner wall of the boiler. This is the simple picture. Okay. This sludge, if you wipe only the surface of that boiler, you get remove that sludge. So this sludge is formed by magnesium chloride, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride and calcium sulfate like salts. So this is the question that can be asked in the exam, into the examination that is what is scale and sludge okay, that we already seen. Priming. So priming it is also called as wet steam. Okay, this is the meaning of priming that it is a wet steam. You know the steam whatever formed after boiling of the water that get or that becomes wet in nature. Why? Because priming is a condition in the boiler of a steam in which water carried over in steam delivery. When steam is passes through the boilers, what happens? That water droplets, simple smaller water droplets get thrown into the boiler or running steam. That's why that steam becomes wet. It may be causes due to the impurities in water which forms up as it boils. You see the picture. This is kitli and if uh, some fumes or you may say it's a uh, steam when that steam coming out if that steam is wet in nature okay if that steam is along with the water droplets then that is called as a priming. It is due to the high level of water in a boiler. So this priming can be takes place due to the high water level or it may be takes place due to the uneven boiling. Okay, if you suddenly increase the temperature of boiler, it may causes priming into the boilers. So this is the boiler and this is the water which is boiling here and whatever the steam is going on through this pipe suppose. So this water droplets get thrown into the steam. So this priming can be prevented by controlling the velocity of steam and having good boiler design also. So water is also ultimately important for that. Foaming. The name itself indicates that it is a foam formation or lather formation on surface of the water. Okay. So if water is having dissolved substances like alkaline impurities or oil when present in water they forms soap like substances results in the formation of foaming. So this is formation of foams. Okay, this is foaming. So it is actually prevented by adding anti foaming agents or adding coagulants like sodium aluminate, aluminium hydroxide or you can say the anti foaming agents like castor oil or sodium aluminate etc. Again this is the question that can be asked into the uh, by combination that is what is priming and foaming. Caustic embrittlement. Caustic embrittlement the name caustic it derived from the caustic soda. So this process in which material of boiler becomes brittle due to formation of caustic substances. Caustic substances means sodium hydroxide like substances. Imbrittlement means it becomes brittle like glass. Okay, so as water evaporates in boiler, the concentration of sodium carbonates increases. Okay, so this is actually the substance which does not cause hardness in water, but it is responsible for causing the caustic imbrittlement. So if you see the picture, this is the part which is broken like a uh, you can say it is like a glass material. 
okay this becomes brittle in nature this is the part okay sodium carbonate what happens when that sodium concentration of sodium carbonates increases it goes again into the hydrolysis process okay when it goes in hydrolysis process carbon dioxide is evolved, evolved and sodium oxide is formed or sodium hydroxide is formed this is the reaction that is sodium carbonate plus water gives sodium hydroxide and carbon dioxide this causes brittlement of boiler parts like bends joints reverse etc this is the last question that is what is caustic embrittlement that we have seen so in this lecture we have learned what are the boiler troubles what is scale and sludge what is priming and foaming and what is caustic embrittlement thank you save water